Hey everybody, hey, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping in. Hey, today we're gonna do a little something different, something a little unorthodox. I think you're gonna find it pretty dang cool. A lot of people ask me, Hussy, how do you choose your steaks or where do you get your steaks? At, sometimes I get them here, there, and everywhere. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you for a ride. We're gonna pick out some steaks. We're gonna bring them back. We're gonna cook them and then we're gonna eat them. You game? Let's go, y'all. So we're heading over to a uh, place where I haven't been in a while, hadn't talked about in a while. Moved a little bit farther away, but going to Cedar Lodge. And I like going here, it's a mom and pop place, it's not a chain. Uh, you can come here, you can get really, really good meat, uh, really good about everything. So we're gonna go there, place where I went as a kid. A lot of, some of the folks that work there still remember me from whenever I was a kid. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go there and see what kind of meat they got. All right, so here we are, Cedar Lodge. Been here for as long as I can remember. I remember coming here as a kid. They got great meats, great everything. Let's head on in. Ooh, ran right into that thing. All right, so my favorite steak, ribeye steak, y'all. It's nice, tender. And what you wanna look for, you wanna look for some nice marbling throughout. It don't have to be all marbled up. I mean, it's not wagyu or anything. Just a good steak. This is about uh, three quarters of a pound each, pound and a half. So I think this will be great. I'm gonna cook them on the Blackstone. Let's get this and head on out. Nice and easy stop. Don't have to big parking lot like the big box stores. You just come in and get out, you're good to go. Now, let's go to the house. Let's cook these bad boys up. Let's go. All right, we made it back from the store, y'all. Now it is time to cook these steaks up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get going. All right, so we got our beautiful ribeyes here. Now we're gonna season these up. I don't know if you notice or not, but this seasoning, this is a bag. It's not commercially labeled or anything like that but this might be something you may see later that might be commercialized stay tuned on that y'all so we're just going to season these up really well on one side we're going to flip it over do the other side as well don't neglect those sides y'all the sides need flavor too and really the extra that you have on your surface just kind of running around the sides at this point get your blackstone pre-warmed and i'm going to put it on about a medium heat because we want a pretty hot surface for this we also got some mushrooms while we're out. I love steak and mushrooms. And so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna take these stalks out. They're kind of a little hearty for me. We're just gonna come in here and slice these up. So here I'm getting a few garlic cloves ready. Just hang on, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that a little bit later. Also, you'll see here, we're gonna use a little bit of rosemary. Hey y'all, hey, I appreciate you sticking around with me so far. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a comment. And also, hey, if you don't mind, subscribe. I'd love to see you around. Our blackstone has been pre-warmed. As you can see, check out this smoke. That tells me the blackstone is ready. But if you really wanna make sure, get you an IR thermometer, 560 degrees, some of it's 580. Perfect, perfect for a steak. So before we do the steak, I wanna get our mushrooms down cause I want them to be ready when the steaks are ready. We're gonna season these mushrooms up with some of this top secret for a little bit longer seasoning here cause it's really good on mushrooms. So as hot as the black zone is, won't take these mushrooms very long. Just kind of toss those around. They got a little bit of moisture inside, which is great. I don't add any oil yet. I like for the moisture to kind of release themselves in the mushrooms, and then I like to add a little bit of, little bit of fat. Those mushrooms, they're just going to ride over there. We're going to focus our attention right here. This is where we're going to do our ribeyes. We're going to come in here with just a little bit of avocado oil. Not a whole lot at all. Our ribeyes have fat in them, so we want to make sure we develop a nice crust. All right, let's put these things down. Press down, try to get that contact patch. Come here with our second one. So we're gonna let these cook for one minute on this side. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna cook for another minute on the other side. While we're waiting on that, see what our mushrooms are looking like. I'm just gonna bring these mushrooms up here to the front. So it's been about a minute. I flipped these ribeyes. I, if you notice, I didn't flip them onto the same place where it was, simply because over here, it's gonna be warmer than where it was. So. I want to allow this area to warm back up and then we'll put the next flip back right there. So it's been about another minute. I'm going to flip it back on the other side. Guys, I do this because you got to keep continuously flip these. If you don't, you'll have a gray band. If you do medium rare, it'll be gray band, medium rare, gray band. If you want top to bottom as best as possible, medium rare, you keep flipping it because if you constantly are just heating it, heating it, heating it, here's the top. It just, it keeps cooking, cooking, cooking. If you keep flipping it, this side doesn't have time to keep cooking, if that makes any sense. 
So we just keep, just keep flipping. It's a little bit of a task. A lot of people says, don't touch your meat, put it on there, let it cook. That is not the case. Now's a good time to start checking your internal temperatures. So right now we're at 100, about 100 degrees. Okay. All right, as you can see, we're at about 130 degrees, which is perfect medium rare. Now what we're gonna do, I wanna take these off. That way we can try to stop that cooking. All right, check that out. There's gonna be perfect medium rare. Now, I'm basically gonna cut the black stone off. Now we're gonna take a good amount of butter, maybe a couple tablespoons, just like this. We're gonna take our garlic. We're gonna take this rosemary, and we're just gonna make a nice little pan, little pan sauce, griddle sauce, how about that? Come in here, and I like to chop this garlic up too. It kind of releases everything. If you could just smell it out here, it smells amazing. All right, so you want to cook your garlic, cook your rosemary, butter, sauce. You want to cook it for about a minute or so. You really want to get that, that garlic and rosemary infused into that butter. And once it's done, we're just going to put that over our ribeyes. All right, now we haven't forgot about these mushrooms over there, y'all. I want to slide them over to the middle of the griddle. Now some of that butter, all that other kind of goodness has kind of moved up there. We're gonna squirt the mushrooms with a little bit of wash your sister sauce and just let that kind of reduce, eh, maybe about 30 seconds or so, and those mushrooms are done. Let's get those off onto our platter, take them over to the cutting board. Now what I like to do is I like to slice this up so everybody can come in, grab them a piece, eat, go on about their business. And so I just come here, I like to take the spinalis off of that, that's just that top end, that top cap of the ribeye. It's really, really nice and tender. I like to take it off and cut it individually. There you have it, that's how I make a steak. That's how I pick out a steak also. It was pretty cool going to the store, meandering around, picking up this, picking up that, talking to the locals. But, uh, but hey, this is the best part of the job, right? Giving this a try. So I'm just gonna pick up my favorite part from the spinalis. That right there is so dang tender. It's kind of like the butcher's cut, if you will. So if you got a big piece on there, that's what I like. Give this a try. Mm-hmm, it's tender. Mm, I really get that garlic and rosemary coming through from that sauce that we had on there. We got all this juice, look at all this juice right here. This is just garlic butter, garlic rosemary butter. Yeah, that right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dang it, boy. That's good groceries right there. Mm. That seasoning special. I just want to tell you that right now. Like I said, stay tuned for that. Y'all, we got to try these mushrooms. We spent a lot of time. I almost forgot them. I'm glad you told me. Uh oh, mm. man, those mushrooms are good. <laughs> Dang it, boy. That wash your sister sauce comes through. That seasoning, the butter. Mm hmm. Son. That's the good stuff right there. I appreciate you coming along for this ride. A little bit different, I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed going to the store, showing you what I like to look for in a steak, my kind of steak too. Just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I promise you make your steaks like this next time, folks will be raving about it, I promise you. Again, thanks for stopping by y'all. Hey, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you, love you. Till next time, Hungry Hussy, out. Bye y'all.